what's going on guys so in this brown box you're looking at right here there is a nintendo wii that i got from gamestop so it's 2019 almost 2020 you're probably wondering why on earth would this dude buy a nintendo wii in this day and age and there's pretty much only one reason i was surfing gamestop's website on black friday a few weeks ago and they had a nintendo wii for like 50 bucks so i said hey let's pick it up let's see what it's got inside see how gamestop's selling these things and see if it works and so basically that's where we're at now Obviously I took out all the shipping information, you know, like the, the shipping label with my address and everything. But let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Got my knife, handy dandy knife that, a little bit dangerous, but uh, just be careful. Slice it on open. And so, here we go. Ah. It actually looks packaged up pretty decently. Usually GameStop hardly throws any of these things in here, but I guess they're trying hard for Black Friday. So here is the packing slip, guys. Not sure if you can read that, uh, but I forgot. It actually came with a few games. So this is a pretty solid deal, to be honest. It was a GameStop uh, Nintendo Wii system, obviously. It's white, uh, refurbished, and that was $26.08. And then we have New Super Mario Bros. for the Wii, Super Mario Galaxy, and Super Mario Galaxy 2. And each of those games were anywhere from like 6 to 8 bucks which is pretty solid because those are Mario games that are still pretty valuable. And so here it is, here's the Wii, and here's the three games. So let's go ahead and take a look at the games first and see what we got. So, first of all, we got New Super Mario Bros. And oddly enough, they covered up the title with this black sticker for some reason. Um, I always hated these cases that they, these little fake cases they give. And ooh, that, this, this thing is falling apart. Ooh, that's not a good sign. Wow. I guess it's just the case, but that's that's kind of disappointing. This thing is falling apart. It's probably been sitting on the shelf for years. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but this disc just looks like... I don't even know how to describe that. It's just dirty. If we take a look, look at the bottom, yeah, I actually don't see any scratches, so that's a good sign. So next up, we got Super Mario Galaxy. As you can see, the original price for this, or the price if you were to buy it standalone, was $14.99, which is not terrible. Um, Thankfully, this one actually comes in a real case, and the case looks in pretty good condition. Open it up, there is Super Mario Galaxy, and if we take a look at the bottom, there's a couple scratches, not sure if you can see them, but not too bad. And then we actually got the manuals and stuff on the side. Um, if anybody wants to try to redeem this for Club Nintendo, go ahead. Um, I'm not going to do it, but it's got all the stuff in here. Got the actual manual, you know, back in the day when they actually included manuals in games. And last but not least, we got our Super Mario Galaxy 2. This case feels a little bit lighter and it looks a little bit dirty. I'm not sure if you can tell very well, but it's a little bit yellowish. Um, the top plastic portion is ripping off a little bit. Whoever had this game probably didn't take very good care of it. And it doesn't even have a price on it, so I'm not really sure why, because usually these things are sitting on the shelf, but I guess not this one. If we open it up, it's also a little bit dirty on the inside. You can see there's some, almost looks like dirt stains. It's kind of weird. Uh, no manual on this one, unfortunately. And if we take a look at the disc, there's a few scratches, but um, nothing terrible. So we got all three games. Let's take a look at the actual Wii now. Um, feels like it's packaged up pretty decently. Not sliding around too much. So let me pull out my handy dandy knife again. And we'll see what's inside this thing. I'm hoping there's a Wii inside of this thing. Um, you never know though. They might accidentally put something else in it. Actually, before I open it up, let's look at the side and see what is supposed to come in it. Um, so it always has that sign that says, congratulations, premium refurbished. Um, looks like it should come with a Wii console, Wii remote, Wii nunchuck, AV cable, AC cable, sensor bar, and a free 30 gig guarantee. All right, so let's open this thing up now and see what's inside. So they got a little bit of bubble wrap in here. That's nice. And it looks like they're mixing and matching these nunchucks and stuff because they got a black nunchuck in here. I think this is an official um, nunchuck. And then we got a Wii controller in here as well. That's definitely a, an official Wii controller. Um, no batteries, unfortunately. Guess I gotta provide my own. But it looks like it's in okay condition. Um, you know, it's not super dirty, but the, the keys do look a little bit yellow, uh, if you can tell. And then next up, we got the AV cable. Uh, pretty straightforward. Hopefully it works. We also got our power adapter. Um, straightforward again, if it works. And then we got our sensor bar. Nice, all bundled up. Oh, they did include a couple batteries, nice. So I don't have to actually use my own batteries. It's these crappy Kindle batteries. Oh well, at least they provide something. And then here is the Wii. So I'm not sure if you guys can see all that well, but there's definitely a lot of scratches on here. You can kind of see if I angle it, there's some black marks like there. It looks like somebody just scraped it with a pen or 
I don't know, something weird. And here's the top. So the top actually, this looks pretty weird. It looks like they almost maybe replaced this piece right here. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell, but this like this side is a different color than this one. So they definitely replaced one of these pieces. Um, ooh, what is going on here? That's really odd looking. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Um, but it looks like it's just like half of it's white. It's really weird. And that's where our four GameCube controllers can go, and then our two memory cards. If you look at the front, it uh, looks fairly fairly normal, I guess. I don't see any major scratches or anything. You can open up our little compartment where we put the micro SD card. Looks fine. Look at the other side. This one's a little bit better. Not as many scratches. Um, little pads are a little bit yellow, but that's fine. And if we take a look at the bottom, um, that also doesn't look too bad. That looks pretty clean. Just got some, some scuffs on the pads, but that's expected. And then last but not least, take a look at the back where all the ports are. And that looks okay as well. So the odd thing is, is it looks like it does not come with a stand. So if you're familiar with the Nintendo Wii, um, they always came with like a little stand to basically stand this thing up, you know, like this basically. Um, but it didn't include a stand, so I'm going to have to lay it down like that. And then of course, last but not least, as you can tell on the bottom here, I have an instruction manual. Go ahead and pause if you want to take a look at that. But... Um, should be a bunch of pretty straightforward stuff. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing over to my TV, plug it in, and we're gonna make sure it works. All right guys, so here we are. Got my power cord plugged into the wall, as you can see here. Got my AV cable plugged in, and I also have my sensor bar plugged in right there. So as you can see, the power LED starts out red, and we're gonna go ahead and press it, and it should not should turn green. There we go. And it's making some sounds with the disc tray, and hopefully it pops up on my screen in a minute. All right guys, so here we are. It did pop up. It's a really weird aspect ratio right now. Um, you can see my TV is a 65 inch screen, but it's only taking up like 40 inches of it maybe. Um, but it wants me to press A on my remote, so let's go ahead and try that. If it'll work, oh, I probably have to sync it. So I think I have to actually sync my controller first, so let's go ahead and do that. So to sync it, if I remember correctly, I think I gotta press, press this red button here, and then the red button on the remote. And oh, there it goes, so it's synced now. All right, so here we are guys, the controller connected. And as you can see, um, player number one, and I can use the fancy wand to select what I want to do. So obviously, I'm going English, but it's not even. It's, oh, I gotta press confirm. Wow, that was that was sad. Below TV. Yep. What else we got? Uh, yeah. Let's call it 2010. Crazy. That was almost a decade ago now. Um. Aha. Here we go. Wide screen. Yep. All right. So that should work. So once a console nickname, what should we call it? Hmm. Let's give it a nice name. All right, so for all you kids out there, I'm calling it Yeet. I don't know if kids still use that word or not, but I'm calling it Yeet. And then country of reg country of residence. Yeah, sure. Let's, I don't even know how to say that word. Ang Angula. Here we are, guys. Finally at the health and safety screen, and here it is, the classic Wii. By default, we got our forecast channel, news channel, the me channel, the photo channel, and the Wii Shop channel. Uh, this brings back some memories. All right, guys. So we're testing it out. So let's go ahead and put in a couple, a couple of these games and make sure that they actually work. Um, I'm pretty hopeful. They didn't seem to have too many scratches, so I think they'll be fine. But let's go ahead and make sure. So it should pop up on this disc channel if it's going to load. But let's see. All right, and there it is. Super Mario Galaxy 2. You click on it. You can see that it's loading up. And yeah, so that works. I'm not going to go too in depth because I don't want to waste your time too much. Let's go ahead and eject that one and we'll test the next two as well. So we got Super Mario Galaxy, the, the OG, the original. Let's plug this in. Man, it's funny how, how bad the graphics are on this on this system. I think it's 480p. It's terrible because this is a 4K TV. Um, let's, let's see what happens here. So it, it's kind of slow to load up to be honest. Um, but you know, any day now, let's go, come on. There it is. So here's the OG Super Mario Galaxy. It's got like the same startup where Mario just screams Super Mario Galaxy. I'm not gonna try to replicate his voice because I would sound insane and I'd probably lose half my subscribers if I did that. Um, let's go to this final one. This is the sketchiest looking one. Um, it's got a kind of like a weird, weird ring around here, um, as you can maybe see. I don't know, uh, let's try it out though. It didn't seem to have too many scratches in the back, so I think it should be okay. But I am slightly worried. Man. 
it was so crazy when the Wii first came out how they had this this like sensor bar and you could point at your screen that was just that was revolutionary now everybody takes it for granted so here it is Super Mario Galaxy or this is not Galaxy what am I talking about this is the uh, Super Mario Bros Wii pretty sweet game so there you go guys looks like it all works got three games and an it's in a Wii and a controller and a nunchuck for 50 bucks which I don't think is too bad of a deal uh, it was on Black Friday I'm not sure how much it retails for uh, technically at GameStop it's probably more like 75 80 bucks um, but 50 bucks not bad I thought it was a pretty no-brainer pickup um, to definitely do a video on see what you guys think and to see what kind of condition it came in and fortunately it came in pretty decent condition um, this top part does have a lot of scratches kind of hard to see on the camera um, but I mean overall it's just a Nintendo Wii it was twenty six dollars and eight cents I think for the Wii itself so I mean I can't complain too much so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video definitely leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already and go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know what other consoles I should buy from GameStop so thanks for watching guys and have a great day